What's up everyone? This is Near Fear here. And today we're going to be playing a throwback of F1 2010 with a crap ton of mods. We got the realistic damage mod, somewhat realistic lighting EMB. We've got the remastered steering wheels. We've got the HD tires. We've and above all else, we have realistic grip, so not only can we lose a front wing, we can't plant the power everywhere as well. Which is a refresher, because it turns this into a slightly different game with slower laptop. And that's me locking up and crapping myself, because the rear started sliding around like that. You've got him. Get onto the back of his car and pass him on the street. I think the only disadvantage to this mod is under breaking the AI tend to uh, just completely park it. Like they go into that chicane and into a few other corners they go pretty slowly. Whoa! That second. You're up to second. As you see there, Mark Weber was quite a bit ahead of us and he just parks it. Get a bit of uh, gap, get a bit of uh, high fuel revs. And due to the realistic grip mod, the lap times are quite a bit slower. Now, I did back everything up so I can get rid of this if I want, but this is too far. Can we go around the outside? Yes, we can. So we've gone around the outside of Weber. Now all we need to do is uh, pull away with a Ferrari by our Ferrari power. wasn't good speed through there, but apparently they can't do any better. Now I tried this in the Mercedes before and the car just proved slightly too unstable. Actually, it just seemed like I'd uh, get the power down or I'd get on the brakes and I'd be off into a wall car is a lot more drivable, quite a bit sa more savable, and uh, I can do things like that. No problem at all in this car. Try it in the Mercedes, you'll end up dead. So. We've just run off just a bit wide. But the main reason I um, put in the traction mod is because if you play the base game, I just locked up right there, it only flew off the track, you play the, the base game. I'm locking up everywhere. I need to get my head in the game. You play the base game. You can basically flat out most of this track, apart from the very slow sections. And when you put the mod, when you put the mod on, you actually do have to have some throttle control. 
and make sure you don't lock up the rear tires too much. I just entered that too fast and got punished for it. The tires have a lot less grip and the uh, brakes don't stop you all that well. See, if I were playing the standard game, I'd be braking about 50 meters later. But because I have this mod on, I can't even come close to my braking zones without locking up my tires. seconds. You can trail me if you want. See if we can do one more lap of uh, this. Because the uh, car seems very nervous. It wants to just come right out of my hands. Chandok? How did he do that? But yeah, you really don't want to be uh, on the brakes while turning in the spot. Oh! And that's what I mean by you don't want to be on the inside flat out there. It will spit your car out. See where we come out. Don't forget to turn the limiter off. Racing speed. Watch out for those cold tires. We're out in P8. Sutil's the race leader. Is that Schumacher? You're gonna lose some front end grip. Your sap in this turbulent air. Definitely Schumacher. All right. I think that's one of the four Cindy's ahead of us. No, that's one of the HRTs. I think. Nope, it's a four Cindy. Oh, 
Or not. I don't know what that is. I'm so confused. It could be one of the HRTs. But I don't really know. I think it's one of the uh, back marker teams. Great passing move. Good work. I think this is a BMW. I don't know who's gonna be in it though. Whether it be Kobayashi or that other guy. That guy really breaks early for that. Oh! Okay! up to P5. And his mistake has cost us a lot. You've taken some slight damage to the front wing. Stay out. We can fix that during your next pit stop. We're not going to have another pit stop. It was only a one-stop strategy. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with the loss of arrow. A lot of underseer in that corner. Oh boy. Oh, they also changed the group value for the grass and the gravel. So the gravel stops you a lot more quickly, and the grass can kill you. So, that's the other reason I have this mod on. Right now, our only job is to try and catch some of the front runners. So we've gotten into P2. I don't know who's ahead of us. That was a little scary. I think Weber took the lead again. Oh! Okay! No idea how far up Weber is. There's a lot of understeer in this car. Just gotta try and see how fast I can catch him per lap. Make up the time from that incident. I'm dropping the throttle way too early. I have no idea who was in that BMW. They have cost me a lot of arrow. And I'm mighty upset about that. Ferrari are ready for a pit stop. One of their drivers is coming in. But I am for that sounded out of place. Alright, we've made it in the P1, who's behind us? Looks like a Force India. That is definitely a Force India. I think the other one was a HRT.
We gotta hold him off with our uh, lack of downforce and older tires. Difficult getting out of some of the corners. Wounded Ferrari. Missed the apex slightly. I just gotta keep pulling a gap to the car behind. These prime tires have like no grip. We've only got two laps to go, I think we can hold it. He's pretty far back, I don't think he's gonna catch up. We just gotta keep the car on the track. Looks like someone. Nope. There's just a. Uh, for the last. Oh! Ooh. Fuck. You've dropped down a second. Try and take first back. Push for the win. Well, that was mighty embarrassing. I had the uh, first place in the bag, and we completely just spun the car around. Just locked up the brakes into the corner. Couldn't stop it. And Fionnir has now made it into a video. Congratulations. I don't think we have enough grunt to catch this Force India. He's too far up the road, but... We can at least pull another gap to the cars behind. Sector 
And I've lost the rear end. Well, that's embarrassing. Oh, fuck! And there goes my race. Wow, that was a big impact. Let me know you're okay, mate. Ow. All right, let's see what happened. He just threw it into the corner and I had nowhere to go. It looks like if we can just uh, rewind it a bit further back. He was taking a line and he just didn't slow up. And it got me into the wall. Alright. Fair enough. Totaled the car. I think that's good enough for this video. Oh man. That is crazy. <laughs> But I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy. That's what you get for not installing mirrors.